Welcome to Blue Eye Media Texon. Today we are going to talk about how to track GPS signals using a microcontroller. Before we start, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. GPS is a satellite based navigation system. It works with the help of 24 satellites orbiting around Earth. Each satellite transmits low frequency radio signals while they circle around Earth. A GPS receiver module collects these signals and calculates its location. In order to calculate the location, at least three satellite signals are required. A GPS receiver module collects the signals from the satellites and generates NMEA codes. NMEA is a standard data format supported by all GPS manufacturers. There are two sections in this video. In the first section, we will be testing the GPS module using a microcontroller. In the second section, we will be using a data parser called Tiny GPS++ so that we can pass the data in a readable format. So let's begin with the first section, testing the GPS module. In order to test the GPS module, we need to connect Arduino Nano with the GPS module using jumper wires. To collect the data directly from the TX pin of GPS module, we are bypassing the bootloader of Arduino Nano so that we can monitor the output of TX pin without writing a single code. Let's take a look at the wiring now. Connect Arduino's ground to GPS ground using a jumper wire. Then connect the TX of Arduino to the TX of GPS receiver module. In order to bypass the bootloader, connect the reset of Arduino to the ground pin. Connect the 5V output of Arduino to the 5V input of GPS module. Then connect the antenna wire to the GPS receiver module. Finally, connect the Arduino to the computer using a USB cable. Now the wiring part is completed. Once you connect the USB cable to the computer, you can see that the blue LED bulb is blinking. It means that we started receiving signals from the satellite and the geolocation has been fixed. Open Arduino software. Then click on the tools menu and check the serial port is detected. Also ensure that you have selected the board Arduino Nano. Then select the serial monitor option. Now you can see the NMEA codes flowing through the serial monitor. If it is not readable, you can change the board rate to 9600 at the right hand side bottom of the serial monitor window. I have copied the NMEA logs from the serial monitor to a notepad. Let's try decode it online. In order to decode it, let's open the browser and search for NMEA decoder. Click on the first link, freenmea.net slash decoder. Now copy the first few lines of the NMEA logs from the notepad and paste it in the website's text box. Then scroll down a little bit and click on the pass button. If you scroll down again, you can see the map showing your geolocation. At the bottom, there's a table shows UTC time, geolocation position, altitude, count of satellites, etc. Now the first section of the video is completed. Let's move on to the second section. Before we start with the second section, let's quickly download tiny GPS examples and save it in Arduino's library folder. The tiny GPS example has been saved. Now let's open the Arduino software and check whether it is available. Tiny GPS examples are ready for testing. Let's quickly rewire the Arduino with the GPS module. Connect the 5V output of Arduino to the 5V input of GPS module. Connect Arduino's ground to GPS ground. Connect D3 pin of Arduino with the TX pin of GPS module. Connect D4 pin of Arduino with RX pin of GPS module. 
then connect the antenna wire to the GPS receiver module. Finally, connect the Arduino to the computer using a USB cable. Once you connect the USB cable to the computer, you can see the blue LED is blinking on the GPS receiver module. It represents we started receiving signals from the satellite. Let's quickly open the full example sketch and burn it to Arduino. Open Arduino software, then click on the file menu and select option examples. From the sub menu, select a tiny GPS plus plus and select option full example. Once you open the full example sketch, just click on the right arrow button to burn the sketch to Arduino. Now you can open the serial monitor from the tools menu to view the past GPS data. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon.